The House will come to order. Prayer by the chaplain. Let our hearts and minds be in an attitude of prayer. Holy and loving God, giver of life, we recognize that we are humble tenants of this vast world around us. The sunshine, the rain, the cool nights and warm days, the return of the birds, the green grass, and it seems we can almost see the growth of the trees. Isn't spring beautiful? And this morning, we thank you for today's sunrise, the fresh air, the gift of all nature around us. And we thank you for the gift of our lives, of our families, friends, and those we meet today, and those we fondly remember that are no longer with us. We thank you for the opportunity and the privilege to serve as leaders, but also as individuals as we live out today. Today, may you inspire us to take that extra minute to listen to someone who desires to talk and to respond by going that extra mile for even just one person. In the midst of our gratefulness, our hearts are heavy and we pray for those that are struggling today, especially those in Nepal impacted by natural disaster, those in Baltimore impacted by our humanness. We may know of someone impacted in these situations or we may know of others. And we pray for these situations and other matters that are on our hearts. Today we ask that you take our lives and use them for your purposes. Today inspire our government leaders to be true servants of your will. And in these challenging times, give them the wisdom to labor for justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with you. Keep their minds and their spirits steady as they strive to please you. And we pray for this in your sacred name. Amen. The chaplain for today is Reverend Paul Marzan, Crossroads Church, Lakeville, Minnesota. Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. The clerk will take the roll.
The clerk will close the roll. <clears throat> A quorum is present. The clerk will read the journal of the preceding day. Journal of the House, 89th session, 50th day, St. Paul, Minnesota, Wednesday, April 29th, 2015. If there is no objection, further reading of the journal will be dispensed with and the journal will be approved as corrected by the chief clerk. Hearing no objection, the journal is approved as corrected by the chief clerk. Comparison reports. There is a copy of this order of business on each member's desk. If there's no objection, the motions will prevail. Hearing no objection, the motions prevail and substitutions will be made. Reports of standing committees and divisions. A copy of this order of business has been placed on each member's desk. If there's no objection, the reports will be adopted. Hearing no objection, the reports are adopted. Second reading of House Files. Second reading, House File number 1437. Second reading. Second reading of Senate Files. Second reading, Senate File 417. Second reading. Second reading, Senate File 986. Second reading. Second reading, Senate File 1120. Second reading. Second reading, Senate File 1137. Second reading. Second reading, Senate File 1219. Second reading. Second reading, Senate File 1265. Second reading. Second reading, Senate File 1499. Second reading. Second reading, Senate File 1816. Second reading. Introduction of bills. The following House files have been offered for introduction today. The Chief Clerk will report the House files and give them their first reading. Introduction of first reading of House files 2280 through 2288. First reading, House files 2280 through 2288. <laughs> Messages from the Senate. Message from the Senate, Mr. Speaker. I hereby announce the passage by the Senate of the following Senate file herewith transmitted. Senate file number 1495, an act relating to education, and the message is signed Joanne M. Zoff, Secretary of the Senate. First reading of Senate files. First reading, Senate file number 1495, an act relating to education. The bill is being referred to the Committee on Education Finance. First reading. Representative Pepin. Mr. Speaker, I move a recess to the call of the chair approximately 1 p.m. Right after recess, Rules Committee will meet in the basement hearing room immediately after recess, and the GOP members we will be caucusing in room five right after rules. Representative Pepin moves a recess to the call of the chair until approximately 1 p.m. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed, no. The motion prevails, and the House stands in recess to the call of the chair until approximately 1 p.m.